Hi, welcome to chapter 6 in CSS3. This video is brought to you by AnkPro Training. In this video, we are going to discuss CSS3 gradients. For latest update, please subscribe our channel. Gradients CSS allows us to display the smooth transition between multicolor. Two types of gradients Linear and Radial. Linear gradients The gradients axis can go from left to right top to bottom or at any angle you choose. Radial gradients Radial gradient differ from linear in that they start at a single point and inaminate outwards. The default is for the first color to start in the center of the element and fade to the end color towards the edge of the element. Gradient property Background and background image Gradient values Linear gradient, repeating linear gradient, radial gradient, and repeating radial gradients. These are all some important properties and values for using the gradient. For syntax for gradients is background. If I'm using a background property, I need to use as a method, and the values method should be like a linear gradient or the repeat linear gradients or the radial gradients. And values should be like color, RGB values or HSL values or HSLA values or hexa values. So example we just taken like background linear gradient value should be red and yellow. So red and yellow is a value and a linear gradient is a method and the background is a property. Gradients for cross browser. So we are using some different browsers. If you are using Mozilla browsers, we need to use MOZ before applying the property of the gradients. If you are using Chrome browser or Safari browser or iPhone browser or any Android browser, we need to use a WebKit before the applying the property of the gradients. And if you are using Opera browser, we, are, we need to use the O symbol with that before that applying the property for the Opera browser. So this is our output look like a gradient. So let's see this output. Let's go for the code demo. For that I am open my Visual Studio code and I am just uh, creating one file as a name of gradient dot html and I am just uh, entering the html tag here ok so right now our file uh, is created gradient dot html with the tags so for that I am going to take on one so right now I am going to use here as a p tag and I am just giving as this prop ID for pre tag is linear and for p tag I need to set some width, height and margin for that I am just taking a style tag in the head section and right now I am just passing the value for the p tag it's like I am setting the value for the height height I just take as a 200 px width I just take on right now 300 px padding margin I am just taking here 10 px float I want left and I am just setting as a border Border I just set 15 px solid maroon color. So right now I set the borders height and width for the p tag, and let's show show you the output how it's look like right now. For that I'm just copy this copy path. I'm open my browser and let me save here. So this is our normal p height and width with a border right now. So I need to apply for the gradient for this. Let's see how to apply for the gradient. I'm just take as a user linear is the ID. So I'm using the hashtag here. Linear and open close. I'm using here background is a shortened property. I'm using background as a shortened property and method I'm using linear gradient. Inside this I'm just passing three color. Yellow, comma red, comma blue. I am passing this three color. Let's see the output for this. 
if I refresh this, you can see it's a coming from the top to bottom is a linearly yellow, red and blue. So likewise, I'm just taking one more P tag here. I'm using as a linear one and let me show you the output for the linear one. I just copy this as it is and I just paste here. I'm using as a linear one here and for linear one, I'm just uh, using three colors and here I'm giving the position for this. So let me just show you. Okay, so I just give the position to right and just I'm using the keyword for to right yellow color, red color and blue color. So it's a right position you can able to see it's a going to right position right now if you see the output. So I just see right position first is yellow then red then blue. If I want left position first I, I need here should be yellow. So I need to just enter here instead of right I just put left and let's see the output see here left side it's position starting from the left if I want to start from the top so I need to use as a top here let's see the output top it's going top side means from bottom to it's going top if I want bottom side from top to bottom I need to use bottom bottom top to bottom so this is the way uh, we are using like a linear gradient for this keyword using so as you know right side is looking like this right side okay so right now I, I want to use some degree we can use uh, we can use degree also here instead of a uh, two right to left I, I'm using I'm going to use the degree so let's see I just copied here I paste it here and right now I'll just take only two color so it's easy to understand red and here I'm just taking like a 90 degree I'm using as a degree right now so linear again you can use degree also I just using the two colors only yellow and red let's see the output for this okay I'm not giving as a name here it's a two okay so let's see right now the output see ya yellow and red it's a 90 degree see it's a start it's 90 degree if I put as a minus 90 degree so it start from a red and yellow because it's turning total 90 degrees reverse order if I just see at minus 95 taking here and if I show you the output see here it's reverse order you can use it's a different different uh, values also angle if you use like a I'm using here like a 30 degree if you see 30 degree angle here see the 30 degree its angle will be like the 30 degree or oh, let me just show you see this is should be like 30 degree angle 30 degree so this is a linear radian so I want repeatedly the linear radian so what I need to do here I'm just taking one more p tag here the name of 3 and I'm using here like a hash linear 3 open close background is a shortened property I'm just taking here and I'm using repeat repeating linear gradient here this is a method and inside that I'm using the color passing the color so I'm just using red color here and I'm using yellow and I can give the value of the yellow also like a 10 percentage here I use this and I'm using green and green I want only 20 percentage like that so if you see this output see like line by line it's one other one means repeating this is only one output it's repeating again one it's repeating here continuously so this is our linear gradient properties and method so let's go with the radial gradient so for the radial gradient I am just using here ID should be 
radial so I am using this property here hashtag radial I am just taking this and property is a shortened background property I am using and instead of linear gradient I am using radial radial gradient in radial gradient as you know it's coming as a circle so for this I'm just giving this a color I'm using the yellow red and green and blue sorry I'm using blue color to show you easily so I'm using same colors only as I taken so linear so red yellow red and blue I just taken let's see the output in the radial so you see it's a coming as a circle so linear is coming line by line and in radial is coming as a circle and that is also all the circle is covered through the yellow and red after that it's covering borders the blue color so likewise if I want some circle type some proper circle way I'm just taking copying this I paste here I'm giving as a name of one and I just copy this here and I'll paste here I'll just give as a one as a name ID name because we are given as a one and uh, so right now I'm using as a keyword name is as a circle comma after that I'm just passing like I just I want color as a yellow and I, I want color red I want color blue so let's see the output for this see here it's coming as a proper circle way okay it's coming as a proper circle circle so I want to use like a, some proper closest way in the forest way some percentage using I need to some properly small circle kind of a thing so I will need to take a one more paragraph here and giving us a name of radial 2 and same thing I'm going to copy and paste here and I was giving us a name of the radial 2 and instead of the circle I am using like a closest side at closest side at like a horizontal 60 percentage and a vertical 55 percentage so let's see this output further if you see here like a, it's this circle itself same I just giving like a closest side and I am using 60 to 50 60 percent and 55 percentage same wise instead of a closest I am using farthest side F A R T H E S T farthest side let's see the output of this see here it's farthest side means it's little bit big right now same thing only I used but it's little it's not closest it's farthest still is distance is that that's the reason so right now I am just taking one more p tag here and I'm just giving as a name of radial 3 and right now I'm same as we are used here same to same thing I'm using for this radial as well so repeating I need to repeat the radial so hash okay same thing let me just copy this and let me just paste here I'm just passing this a name of the radial radial 3 and instead of the linear I'm just giving on it radial red yellow and I need to put in the percentage so save and let's see the output so in the circle where it's going to get this is the line way because the linear and if I want circle type repeating then it's look like this so this is our output for the linear and the radial gradients subscribe to our channel like us on Facebook follow us on Twitter join our group on LinkedIn Thank you.